Hello guys and uh, welcome to another video and today I will be discussing how to uh, complete the cursed quest uh, in math quest. So the first thing you'll need to do uh, before starting this quest is the, to complete the Sable and her brother quest, which basically allows you uh, to get level two bombs. Uh, so before you look, uh, before you consider uh, completing this quest, you would have to complete the Sable and her brother quest first. Uh, you would also have to uh, gain access to the Garden of Shadow Soul. So you would have to be sufficiently far into the save the geometry quest. I already completed it. So that isn't a problem for me, but if you haven't completed the geometry quest, make sure you have obtained the second orb and you have uh, got gained access to the garden of shadow soul. So with that out of the way, we can start the video. So to get to this screen right here, you, I will show you on the map. So as you can see here, I have pulled the map open and uh, the screen that we were just on is located right below Creeper's Cavern. So this is Creeper's Cavern and the screen is right here. So as you can tell, the entrance of Creeper's Cavern is right here. You just have to go right one screen and down uh, two screen, uh, three screens. So right one screen and then down three screens and you will reach uh, this screen right here, around here somewhere. So, so yeah. Now with that out of the way, we can continue on with the quest. So the first thing you would want to do is to bomb this pillar right here. So you you need a level two bomb in order to bomb this pillar. So that is why you need the Sable and her brother quest first. So after that, you can just go forward and bomb this as well. This will reveal a secret stairway, which you can go down. So now you'll reach this screen. What you need to do is obviously bomb these ones, but instead of going the top path, you would want to go to the bottom path uh, to the right instead. So instead of going up, go this way to the right. And now talk to the skeleton right here. This might seem like this is nothing, but you can actually talk to the skeleton. It says, please help me. Where is that little voice coming from? You look down and see a little mouse. I'm so hungry. Can I have one of your apples? Yes. Thank you for the apple. I was once a human, but I had, but I had a curse put on me that turned me into a mouse. There is an evil wizard in the vault of Shadow Soul that has the cure. If you find the cure, please bring it back to me. So now you can see that it says, find a cure in the vault of Shadow Soul for the mouse's cure. So we will have to first travel to the vault of Shadow Soul and we can go from there. In case that you do not recall, or if you haven't reached this portion yet, you have to light two torches, uh, one on the west side of the Garden of Shadow Soul and one on the east side. And uh, you will need level two fire or higher. Uh, once you light these two torches, the entrance to the vault of Shadow Soul will open. Uh, you have to light these two torches in order to access the Vault of Shadow Soul. So, it, so just again, you have to light these two torches uh, in order to access uh, the Vault. As you can see here, I have level three fire, so this should be fine. I light it and now it's, it is showing that I have lit the torch. So I will now travel to the other one. So now that I have lit both of the uh, torches, I can now access the vault of the Shadow Soul. Okay, so once you have lit the two torches, you can just enter the vault of Shadow Soul. So you are now, I am now in the vault of Shadow Soul, 
it says find a cure in the vault shadow for the master's curse and he said a evil wizard has taken uh, has the cure so basically what you have to do is you have to uh, keep on fighting uh, enemies until you face a, a wizard yeah. i think yeah a wizard and then uh, hopefully it will drop uh, the cure so now i am fighting the ancient mage and let's see if it drops the cure it does not drop the cure so we will have to keep on going so as you can see now i have found the cure for i found the cure for the mouse and uh, i've just defeated an ancient mage and it dropped the the cure so now i can continue on and give the cure back to the mouse so let's see now what the mouse has to say you did it thanks quest player that that's just the name i put quest player yeah the effects of this curse should wear off soon please come back and check up on me all right so we will come back and check up on him you just have to exit the screen uh, basically what you just have to do is to exit the screen and come back in so that should be pretty simple all right so now that i have entered back in you can see that there has suddenly been a boy just appeared out of nowhere which presumably be presumably is the mouse you know, was the mouse so let's talk to him and see what he says the cure that you took from that wizard work thanks to you so his name is ark okay that evil wizard cursed me because i was looking for the hid hidden entrance to the grotto of mages a group of evil mages lived there they took my son and are holding him captive the entrance is on the east side of the garden of shadow soul if you choose to go, be very careful. A powerful spell resides there that causes most weapons to be useless. All right. So let's see what the quest page says. Enter the Grotto of Mages on the eastern side of the Garden of Shadow Soul. So I will show you where that is on the map. So if you look on the map over here, you can see that if we zoom in on Garden of Shadow Soul, the entrance is right about here. And I will draw a circle around it. The entrance is on this screen. So you just enter the Garden of Shadow Soul, go down one screen, go down another screen, and then take, or go to the east, go east one screen. So that is how you get to the entrance to the Grotto of Mages um so i will go there on the actual game now so now that i'm here you can see that the arc is standing right here let's see what he has to say go stand on the other tile and together we can open the entrance all right okay so we open the entrance and arc says please try and find my son all right so we can now enter the grotto of mages so um i might not uh, cut out the encounters out so we will just be like walking through the whole thing so it i might pause to uh fight some enemy so uh, let's just go in and see what happens okay so we are in so let's just continue on we can just keep on going and keep on going up okay so we got attacked as you can see we only really do like one damage so i have cast a fire spell to help us defeat this uh person and also the drain effect also helps uh damage it a little bit instead of doing one damage we are also dealing the drain damage as well so that is also very useful 
So now we can continue on our way. Um, okay, we got attacked again. That is fine. We can just uh, keep on attacking and let's just put it on fire. Uh, in case you don't know what I'm doing, I'm actually pre pressing the uh, F on the keyboard, which is a hot key for casting the fire spell. So that is what I'm doing. Whoops, uh, that was a misclick there. Oh man, so apparently these uh, wizards have taken my uh, magic, so I will just uh, eat some food and I am right back up to full magic. And you might be wondering how did I get so many gummy bears? It's because of the uh, Santa encounter, uh, which I posted in another video. Uh, it gave me a lot of gummy bears, so that is why. Let's just see what it says. The sign reads, the third horizontal. Now remember this, this will be important later on. So we will just uh, continue on. Let me just save my uh, game. Okay, we got attacked again. That is fine. We can just uh, cast the fire and just keep on attacking and it should be dead in no time. All right, let's see what this guy says. Ark, it appears we've come to a dead end. You know, these floor tiles are uh, sort of loose. Try kicking or stomping on them. Uh, so let's, it says third horizontal. So that means we have to kick the third horizontal uh, lane. So uh, now I have kicked the whole entire horizontal lane. Uh, uh, the path has opened forward and I can continue on. Oh, the gray mage. Uh, so we can just do the same thing again. And uh, this time I have to heal because this guy's actually doing some serious damage here. Okay, this guy is actually pretty annoying, but he is dead, so there is no worry here. Let me just heal up, uh, eat some more gummy bears. All right. All right, and we can continue on. Oh my God, another one. I'll just flee this one because uh, we want to continue on onto the video. Now, cool thing about this, is that you you clearly see that um, these two pillars are blocking the way, but uh, uh, I don't know if this is intentional or not, but you can just walk right through them just like that. Instead of placing a bomb, uh, you can just walk right through them. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was not intentional, but we can just use it to our advantage here. Um, all right, so this one, this one's a little annoying. We have to, let me just slow it down a little bit so that it's easier to deal with. Um, so now it should be pretty easy to deal, have to deal with after we have slowed it down a significant amount. And uh, there you go, it's dead. Um, just so as you can see, I am still in the middle of an encounter here. There is a lot of mages. That's probably why it's called the Grotto of Mages. Um, uh, we, we can just roll with it. Um, so we want to reach the top here. Let's just go through. Um, let's eat some more gummy bears because we're running out low on magic. And uh, now um, we can go choose the right path first. 
Okay, this is a little frightening. This guy does a lot of damage, so you better watch out for this guy. This guy does a, quite a lot of damage, so and uh, you can see I'm casting uh, quite a lot of spells um, without actually opening the magic menu. That is because I'm using the magic. Uh, I'm using the hotkeys on my keyboard. So F is for fire, S is for slow, and H is for heal, and there are more hotkeys, um, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. I think R is regen. Uh, yeah, that's basically all I can think of. I'm sure there are more, but that's all I can think of right now, currently. Okay, so I did remember correctly. This is the place where the sun is being held captive. Um, so after we defeat this uh, gray mage, we will see what will uh, what Ark is gonna say. And a cast heal on itself. That is unfortunate, um, but it is still gonna be dead in no time. So let's see what Ark has to say. We found him. There's a lock on this hell, and there appears to be a keypad where we can enter a code. It appears that there are three digits in the code. All right, so we have to find the three digits. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we will just look around and see what the three digits are. So let's just choose the top path first. All right, so there's a sign here. Let's see what it says. The sign reads, the difference between three and one. So that is two. So let's just remember that, two. OK, that is uh, unfortunate. We got poisoned. Good thing I have some oranges, which can cure poison. All right, so remember two. OK, that's pretty annoying. Uh, fortunately, we have a, we can just, oh shoot, that's a lot of damage. Um, we can just keep on attacking, and uh, we can cast the fire spell. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal here. And he's dead. All right, that is pretty cool. And now let's read what this sign has to say. OK. Whoops, let's click. All right, this may, this may take a while, so. I will just cut forward to the part where I get to the, so I've reached the sign and it says the sum of five and four. So that is nine. So remember two and a nine. So now we can continue down to the bottom screen. Uh, let me just uh, refill my magic up again. And let's continue down to the bottom screen. I will cut to the part where I reach the bottom screen. So I have reached the bottom screen and let's see what the last one, last uh, sign has to say. There's an engraving on the base of the statue that reads the product of one and two. So two, so 292 should be the code. So let's just uh, test that out and see if that's actually correct. I will skip to the part where I actually enter the code. Um, I just thought I would show an encounter of Santa um, because I think it's uh, pretty interesting. So Santa basically can restore your health or um, restore your magic, and it's uh, pretty cool. So you can actually purposely get problems wrong <laughs> to make it restore your health faster.
So that's pretty cool. Um, so for now, we will just kill it, um, like defeat it, not kill it. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just show you this. It's pretty cool. I already made a video on this, but uh, I just wanted to show it on this video too because it's pretty cool. As you can see, it restores 10% of your magic as well. Um, and uh, that's pretty cool. So, okay, I won't bore you with this uh, encounter anymore. I will just uh, skip to the end. Uh, so as you can see, I finally defeated uh, Santa. And it says Santa must go now. And Santa gives you some gummy bears. Thought this was a pretty cool thing to show on the video. So now I'll just cut to the part where I'll actually enter in the code. So now I am about to enter in the code and see if it works. What do you want to type into the keypad? 292, remember the code was 292. That is not the correct code. Oh shoot, did I remember it wrong? 922. Okay, I guess the order is a little off, but if you remember those three numbers, you can just uh, rearrange them a little and you will eventually get it. Um, I'm not too sure what the actual order is, but uh, if you just keep on fiddling around with it, you should get it. Arc Sun, I'm free. Let's just see what this Arc says. Thanks, thanks for saving my son. Here, take these gingerbread cookies as a reward. All right, so now we have, uh, now we completed the cursed quest, and that is the end of the video for today. So next uh, quest, I'll be going over how to complete the Jorian's Dream quest. So stay tuned for the next video, uh, and uh, see you later.